For project 2, I made an interactive audio slash video installation with green plants. The audio part of my project consists of three touch sensors, which controls an algorithmic ambient generator and a granular synthesizer. The video part, it perceives the lighting of the room with a photoresistor and adjusts the brightness of the projected video accordingly. Both circuits I had to build for this project were pretty simple. The photoresistor circuit is just the component sending in data from the analog pins of the Arduino. As for the touch sensors, I made a capacitive sensor with a 1 mega ohm resistor and a wire sticking into the plants. The Arduino code takes in data from its analog and digital pins and aggregates them into a stream that will be consumed by the max MSP patchers. The first three integers represent the plants and the last one is the photoresistor. Whenever we see a very large number appearing on the console, that means that the plant has been touched, or in the case of a photoresistor, that a light has been shown on it. First and foremost, the main patcher takes in the data stream from the Arduino console and breaks the stream down into four variables representing plant 1 to 3 as well as the photoresistor. For each of the plants, if the data that it gets exceeds a certain threshold, in this case I've set it to be 50, then it's going to trigger some kind of audio effect. For example, for plant 1, it's just going to play this simple loop of bird chirping. For plant 2 and 3, they're going to trigger a corresponding sub-patch. In addition to the different audio effects, each of the plants also bangs a different message to the playlist so that the video of the plant itself is going to be shown on the video window. And finally, this last chain of commands is what controls the brightness of the video using the data of the photoresistor. So let's look at the granular synthesizer sub-patch that Plant 2 would trigger. Um, it is a patcher that I made out of a bunch of beep modules. So first and foremost, I had two granular synthesizers, each passed in to a bandpass filter and then um, a reverb on top of that. So for each of the synthesizers, I set them to different offsets. So that kind of gets uh, me the same sound, but at different frequencies. The last patch starts with three metronomes generating random notes at pseudo-random intervals. And to make sure that the notes sound good together, I quantize them to a specific key and a specific mode. Then the MIDI info of the notes would get converted to a digital signal, which would run through a chain of oscillator, a filter, and an amplifier. Um, and that would generate the sound, basically. And two uh, additional envelopes are created here for creating more nuanced effects.